Lord my God When I in awesome wonder Consider all Sing it with me The worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder Your power throughout mighty God The universe displayed Then sings my soul Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great you are How great you are Mighty God How great you are we love you this morning. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. We love you so much, Lord. How great thou art. How great thou art. Lord, we love you. We worship you. Come on, just begin to talk to him. Lift your hands to heaven and magnify him. We love you, Master. We appreciate you. You mean everything to us this morning. You mean everything to us this morning. We love you, Lord. Lord, we say, have your will in our lives. Have your way in our lives. We want your will. Give us wisdom from your word. Give us direction. Give us clarity. Lord, your word says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Lord, David said, order my steps in your word. Order our steps in your word this morning. Strengthen us encourage us lift us up lift every heavy burden from off our shoulders touch our marriages this morning those who are experiencing marital trouble father bring deliverance bring the victory bring the breakthrough bring a supernatural turnaround give them a miracle in the name of jesus mighty god mighty god this morning so I want to get into the word of God with you on this morning. And on this morning, I'm talking about victory in your mouth. Listen, listen to what the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20 and 21 says. Now we all know these scriptures. We quote them a lot. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. In other words, Stuff begins to happen in your life exactly as you begin to declare it, as you begin to speak it, as you begin to say things. This is why you can't just be vain in your conversation. You have to be a man or woman of purpose. You can't just let anything come out of your mouth. Watch this in verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The ten spies said, we are not able to go up against the Canaanites. They are bigger and stronger than us. Well, you know what? Every last one of those spies died in the wilderness. Everybody else who believed what those ten spies said and join in and begin to repeat those negative words, they all died in the wilderness. They were right. They were not able to go up against the Canaanites because they were full of doubt and full of unbelief. But I love what Joshua and Caleb said. Joshua and Caleb, the Bible says, they still the people in the presence of Moses. Joshua and Caleb said, look man, the people are bred for us. We are well able to go up and take the land. If God delights in us, he'll give us the land. Are you listening to me this morning? And exactly what Joshua and Caleb said, it came to pass in their life. My God, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those that love it will eat the fruit thereof. I dare you to open your mouth and say, I'm more than a conqueror. I dare you to open your mouth and say, I'm blessed and not cursed. I have abundance and not lack. I'm healed and not sick. The house is mine. The car is mine. The job is mine. The marriage is mine. Shout yes. Open your mouth and take your authority this morning. You've been whining. 
You've been murmuring. You've been complaining. My God, some of the children of Israel, they were crazy enough to say, let us get a next leader and go back to Egypt. For Egypt is better for us than the promised land. The devil is a liar. As for me and my house, we gonna serve God. We gonna obey the word of God. There ain't no other option in my house. As for me and my house, we gonna serve the Lord our God with all of our hearts, all of our minds, all of our soul, our body and our strength. And you will, you will have whatever you say. I dare you to open your mouth and say, I'm gonna make it into the promised land. I'm not going to give up halfway. I don't care what trouble I'm in. I don't care what trial I'm in. I'm going to make it in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen to the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 6. Glory to God, I tell you, I love the word of God. Listen to Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 6. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood. Now watch this. I love the end of this verse. But the mouth, the mouth of the upright or the mouth of the righteous shall deliver them. Did you hear what that word said right there? The mouth of the upright shall deliver them. That word delivered right there means to rescue, to deliver from sin and guilt to deliver from enemies and troubles, to tear oneself away, to snatch away, to escape. Jesus began to prophesy and speak into existence in advance. They are gonna crucify me, but I'm gonna raise on the third day. They are gonna drive the nails in my hands. They are gonna bury me, but on the third day, I'm gonna get up again. If it was good enough for Jesus, to prophesy his victory in advance. How can we do any different? The Bible says you are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. Are you listening to me? Mark chapter 11 verse 23. For verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he say shall come to pass. Jesus said you shall have whatever you say. I'm not just talking about talking to be talking but I'm talking about somebody that's full of the word of God and the word of God have produced real faith in your heart. The word of God has convinced you in your spirit and in your mind and you begin to act on that conviction and speak with God authority speak with God's power who speak those things which are not as though they were my God what about this Jesus spoke to a storm and it stood still Jesus spoke to a dead man and he got up from out of his tomb Jesus spoke to blind eyes and they received sight my God David declared victory over Goliath and David said this day Will the Lord deliver you into my hand? And all the earth shall know that there is a God in Israel. Joshua spoke to the sun and to the moon and commanded them not to move. And they stood still for 24 hours. My God, are you listening to me? You got to take your authority because the mouth of the righteous shall deliver them. I dare you to declare victory. I dare you to declare breakthrough. I dare you to declare a supernatural turnaround in your marriage, in your finances, in your relationships, on your job, in your health. Open your mouth and declare victory. Victory is in your mouth this morning. I said victory is in your mouth. Victory is in your mouth. Speak those things which are not as though they were. Your victory is in your mouth this morning. Speak to your situation in the name of Jesus. Use your authority right now and begin to speak to it. I speak to that situation. I command it to change right now in the name of Jesus. You will yield. You will produce fruit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare victory in your marriage. 
I declare victory on your job. I declare victory in your ministry. I declare victory over the loan process. I declare victory. I declare victory in the name of Jesus. I declare the report from the doctors will be good. God is going to turn it around in the name of Jesus. Come on, declare victory. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Speak life this morning. Open your mouth. Change the course of your destiny with the words that are coming out of your mouth. I am the head and not the tail. We are above only and not beneath. We are blessed and not cursed. We are the lenders and not the borrowers. We are the head and not the tail. We are well able to go up and possess the land in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. God is able. God is able to do. Sing it. Just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on my God. Don't give up on God. Listen. Because he will give up on you because he's able oh sing it with me oh 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 he's able he's able sing oh oh sing it oh 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 he's able my God is able this morning my God is able he's able God is able. He's on your side. There is victory in your mouth. There's a breakthrough in your mouth. There's a miracle in your mouth. But you got to use your authority and open your mouth and declare it. You got to say it. Jesus said, You will have whatever you say. Jesus said, You will have whatever you say. The centurion said, Speak the word only, and my servant will be made whole. Jesus spoke the word, and exactly as the centurion believed, it happened to him. Jesus said, according to your faith, be it unto you. The woman with the issue of blood said, if I can touch the hem of his garments, I will be made whole. And she did it, and exactly what she said happened. You got to take authority right now. We love you, Lord. My God, I feel the anointing this morning. He's able, because he's able, he's able, see, he's able, my God. He's able, yes, he's able. He's turning it around, you know. He's turning it, the tables are turning in your favor right now. I say the tables are turning, the tables are turning. That devil, those devils are on the run. The Bible says your enemies that come against you one way, they will flee seven different ways. No weapon form against you will be able to prosper. We thank you, God. We thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to sow a seed into the ministry. Stand with us. We can't do this by ourselves. We need your help. We ask you for your support. We know God's at work, but we can't do it by ourselves. We need you. Two are better than one, but they will get a good return for their labor. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching us through Facebook, subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. And we are asking all of you, share this message with at least three people that you know need a word of encouragement this morning. We love you guys. We believe in you. And this is from me and Pastor Amy. We really love you. We appreciate you. And we believe in you. Amen. And on tomorrow morning, we will be talking about winning with few. You don't need everybody on your side for God to give you the victory. Winning with few. Look forward to that broadcast on tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye. We love you. Take care now.